Hello everyone, and welcome to this short Godot vs Unity video. Today we're going to talk about asset pipelines. So as we've already discussed in this other video on the channel, assets and resources are a crucial part of any video game, just as much as scripts and logic. But because they're more complex files, like images, audio clips, 3D models or videos, they can be harder to import, manage and organize. That's why having a nice asset pipeline is not always easy to implement, but it's a really important quality of life feature for any game engine. So, how do Godot and Unity compare on that front? Well, in both Godot and Unity, importing assets is straightforward. You just click and drag your files to the project's folder, and the asset is imported. There is, however, a difference in what kinds of files you can import. Basically, Unity is known for its robust asset import process, and its extensive format support. In most cases, you'll just be able to bring any type of file you want in your projects. Godot, on the other hand, has a bit more limitations. Although it supports various files formats, and it's compatible with most common file types for images, audio clips, and 3D models, there's a notable specificity. This game engine doesn't support the pretty massively used FBX 3D model format, unless you use some additional plugin to auto-convert your files. So you may not be able to use all of your 3D models directly in your Godot projects. Also, the Unity Asset Import Pipeline can actually be customized quite a lot to fine-tune the import settings to your own project, thanks to the Asset Post Processor and Scripted Importer classes that let you inject your own logic for the different import steps and even handle custom file types. Godot has something similar for the second case, but it requires that you know how to write plugins and then that you use the Editor Import Plugin Base class. Any game engine aims at being flexible and intuitive in asset organization, which is why neither Godot nor Unity impose any kind of asset hierarchy. You're free to name and nest your directories as you want, apart from some exceptions like Godot's add-ons folder or Unity's editor and resources folders. But to be honest, I feel like Unity still is one little step ahead in terms of asset organization. While Godot is improving a lot in this domain, for example with Godot 4.2's new folder coloring system, Unity has a bit more features when it comes to browsing and sorting your assets. Indeed, Unity even has a dedicated search pop-up that lets you filter your resources by type, name and more, have direct previews and even inspectors, between that and the custom tagging, you really get a nice workflow for your assets. Plus, even if Kudo's path-based resource references are really cool, cause they make it so much easier to understand when reading a project config file, they can also cause some issues if you move or rename your files the wrong way in your Kudo projects. Most notably, if you modify those files outside of the editor in your native file explorer, and then you come back to the game project, then there might be missing or invalid links that prevent your scenes from opening, and so you kind of need to change those in the IDE to get back all the links, and you could also lose some material overrides among other things. By contrast, Unity unique ID based system isn't as humanly readable, but it's often more robust if you move and rename your files a lot. Creating and importing game assets is essential, but of course, updating them easily is just as important. Cause making games is all about iterating and adjusting and refining, and so you kind of need to have the right tools to modify your resources dynamically and maintain your project throughout the development cycle. Fortunately, both Kudu and Unity make it easy to re-import a new version of an asset. Just like when you import the first time, you simply need to drag the file to the project folder and it will be reprocessed 
and re-import it the next time you open the editor window. Moreover, all the metadata files around those assets make sure that the import settings you set previously are kept when you re-import your file if they have the same name. Also, the two engines can be linked to common versioning tools to keep track of the past evolutions of your project, help with collaborative development, and ensure everyone's in sync on what the most recent version is. You can even go further and integrate your project in a CI-CD workflow to increase the speed and automation of your releases. But anyway, here you go. You now have some quick basics on how Godot and Unity compare in terms of asset pipelines. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next ones. And of course, don't hesitate to drop a comment with ideas of Godot tricks that you'd like to learn. As always, thanks a lot for watching. And take care.